Welcome everybody to our podcast where we will be exploring the latest events in various articles through the lens of business and marketing concepts that we've learned in class. I'm your host Royce and alongside my group partners here today, we'll be talking about articles we've chosen that we found recently through reputable news sources. I'll be leading the first talk today, where we'll be diving into a captivating story from the Wall Street Journal, specifically the article written by Jeffrey A. Trachtenberg on October 25th, 2023, titled Scholastic Plants Segregate Diverse Titles at School Book Fairs, Then Came the Backlash. I specifically chose this article because it resonated with my childhood um, elementary years where we would go to scholastic book fairs and purchase books as well as school equipment from these fairs. So I just wanted to dive deeper into this article more. But the center of this article revolves around Scholastic's initial decision to segregate diverse titles at school book fairs, separating books specifically on gender and race uh, during the wake of school book bans in multiple states. So essentially Scholastic just put gender and race books into like a separate collection, which elementary schools can choose whether to offer or not in book fairs, or also like have a heading to like caution um, specifically younger children about these books that they're purchasing is gender or race based. So this decision really sparked a significant backlash as well because this decision really disrespected and hurt many authors and illustrators educators etc's work because their work was deemed by scholastic as to gender or race based that they had to separate it from all the other books they are selling it got so bad that ellie berger Uh, the president of Scholastic Trade Publishing, wrote a letter to these authors and the Wall Street Journal apologizing for their actions (laughs) and that she highlighted and stated actually that um, it was done in good intention and also will be discontinued within the next year. Uh, So this really highlights the delicate balance companies must maintain in their marketing strategies, right? It raises crucial questions about how a company's marketing decision can impact its reputation and relationship with its audience and partners with these authors and illustrators that, you know, they're really the ones that they use their books for to earn their profits and their revenue from. So as I analyzed the article, it highlighted themes and frameworks that resonate with our business and marketing studies, one of them being the importance of cultural sensitivity and inclusivity in marketing strategies. Um, This aligned with our discussion about how effective brand communication and the power of resonating with diverse audiences, and as well as brand positioning, as it is so very crucial to appeal to customers. We can analyze these uh, marketing decisions uh, based on our study. uh, So we can consider the role of social responsibility in business strategies and the need for companies to align their values with those of the target audience. So specifically not, you know, going too far off the right of the spectrum or to the left of the spectrum or like too very aggravating into like maybe one side of the st- their standpoint uh there's always needing to be a balance in these brand positionings so they can appeal as positive sort of to their target audience and now we'll be listening into patrick uh talk about an article about the retail marketplace, Timu. This article is about the online retail marketplace success, Timu. 
The article is found on the Wall Street Journal for November 28, 2023. Timu this year aired its first ever Super Bowl ad on February 12th. The 30-second ad ran twice during the game and cost the company a whooping $14 million. Those two Super Bowl ads did have an effect. Because in April 2023, two months later, Timu's app had 15 million downloads. However, after that, there was a sudden spike of about 98%. So by May 2023, just a month later, the app had been downloaded more than 30 million times. This was most likely due to the increased media attention that Timu received after the Super Bowl ads. But app downloads are not the only way to measure the traffic that Timu was generating. A similar spike was also happening on Timu's website, timu.com. Because from April to May 2023, in the span of one month, traffic on the website rose by 96%, from 110 million visits in April to 217 million visits in May in the span of one month. So similar to the app downloads, the heightened global media coverage of Timu had had a major influence on its website traffic. But why is Timu so interesting? Well, Timu's wide range of products is particularly appealing to consumers with low prices, free shipping, and discounts. Like Shein, Wish, and Alibaba, Timu's business model is built around low prices. Timu further differentiates itself by offering free shipping, and free returns to customers, which is made possible by an efficient logistics and an extensive network of suppliers and shipping partners. Timu also combines shopping and entertainment. It sends free items to a large number of influencers to promote Timu on YouTube and TikTok. Seeing a favorite internet personality promoting the products can lead many young customers to imitate the purchase. So Timu's omnipresence on TikTok and YouTube is seen as a key factor in why this online marketplace has taken off so quickly. Thank you. Thanks for that, Patrick. Uh, I think it's really interesting how uh, commercials and ads can really increase the overall growth of a company so quickly, such as the Super Bowl, of how a whopping 98% was seen as an increase just, just slightly after the Super Bowl. So... Thank you for sharing that. So now, after Patrick, we have Jillian talking about AI. From the Harvard Business Review, the article How AI Can Help Sales Teams Craft More Personalized Pitches, published November 28, 2023, by Matthew Dixon and Ted McKenna, highlights the impact of personalized communication in sales. AI has made it easier and faster for sales teams to conduct research and create personalized pitches, enhancing the overall customer experience. Traditionally, salespeople had to invest significant time and effort into gathering relevant information to have a prepared, personalized sales interaction. However, AI-powered sales platforms now enable sellers to achieve expert-level preparedness in a fraction of the time. Successful salespeople understand that preparation is an ongoing activity, not a one-time event. They recognize that the data they gather and the initial alignment and fit established during the early stages of the sales process may evolve over time. Continuous monitoring and adaptation are necessary to stay aligned with the customer's changing needs and preferences. Additionally, market dynamics can shift swiftly, requiring sellers to stay updated on changes within the customer's organization and industry. AI-powered tools can assist in keeping sales teams informed about these changes, enabling them to adapt their strategies and maintain effective communication with buyers. By utilizing AI-powered preparation activities, sales leaders can build meaningful customer relationships that grow and strengthen over time. This approach helps prevent post deal issues such as cancellations or buyer's remorse, and instead helps to build customer loyalty. By prioritizing the integration of AI-powered preparation activities into their sales processes, sales leaders can empower their teams to build stronger foundations for buyer relationships, resulting in mutually beneficial and lasting partnerships. 
AI plays a significant role in impacting our everyday lives and helping us achieve our business and marketing goals. By using AI technology, businesses can develop a customer value-driven marketing strategy, which involves attracting customers away from competitors and then nurturing and expanding those relationships by delivering exceptional value. To effectively implement this strategy, businesses must conduct in-depth customer analysis. They recognize that serving all customers in the same way is not viable due to the diverse range of needs and preferences. By analyzing customer data and leveraging AI-driven insights, companies can tailor their marketing efforts to target specific customer segments more effectively. Customer engagement and value are indeed pivotal factors in a marketer's path to success. By engaging customers through personalized experiences and providing value that aligns with their individual requirements, companies can foster long-term customer loyalty and drive business growth. AI technologies provide valuable tools for understanding customer preferences, optimizing marketing campaigns, and enhancing the overall customer experience. Wow. Thank you, Jillian, for that very informative, uh, very insightful take on the article regarding AI. And thank you, everybody else that is listening out there. Thank you for listening to our podcast, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.